Bob and Sean Mayer. Farnham will be here for that one. Bob Mayer. What a huge night that's going to be. Jordan Ford pushes for the Gales. Everything going St. Mary's way here tonight. As they're heading for their eighth consecutive win over USF. It'll make it 24 the last 25 over the Dons. Jordan now becomes the five man and Utah is quite small around him Lantan getting past Rawson for the flush for Utah and that gets everybody on the Utah bench up Fairfield the only Ute in double figures he's got ten The old school center with the hook. Sure has. You see his versatility and what he's been able to accomplish. You know, player of the year. Now he's back in the post. This time he seals. And there is his first field goal. More super Diana Tarasi. The list goes on. So many greats. Rebecca Lobo. And then now, just seeing the tradition continue. You know, it's been amazing. All led by Coach Gino Oriemi. Landau. Hesitant in the post. Now the jump hook crawls over the front of the rim. From Flavor Flav? <laughs> there was a time he would wear like a grandfather clock. Just Jeez. about. Like a dinner plate. That's a coaster. Yeah. From the pioneers of hip hop. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Landau. Yes. He better never be late. In and what a win it would be if his... Pepperdine Waves could hold it out. Yeah, it really is. And it's, it's a testament to, you know, Coach Wilson and, and, and what he stands for and what he's been teaching. And, you know, the guys really are out here fighting and playing hard for him, knowing that he's not going to be in that position next year. They're, go they're going out there and giving him all of their effort. And just three of eight shooting, but 17 rebounds, one away from a career high, and he's got 11 minutes to do it. Landale backing in, got the ISO on Hadaway, and one for Jock Landale. Good, and Hermanson pulls down the rebound. Is that it now? Double zero, that's Tanner Krebs. Jordan four, number 30. Down inside again to Landale. Landale touches the ball just about every possession for St. Mary's. As he should, Jock off the stick. Well, especially if he's in any jeopardy and any any pain, and he he was certainly in a lot of pain. Yes, he was. But now you got your top scorer, second leading scorer in the league, and doesn't even get to play half the game. Shot clock's at eight. Jump hook. Yeah. progress oh yeah 
Absolutely. But they'd love to knock off one of the big dogs in the WCC. And we've seen throughout the season, Portland will change their defenses. They'll show you a lot of different looks in both the full court and the half court. We saw them go a little three-quarter court trap there just to make them use up some time on the clock. And so now we're at five seconds on the shot clock. And Harwich well defended, but... And for Diabate, so, it's his first two points tonight. They've responded to the adversity of the technicals. Crowds into the game. They're infused. Another stop. Can they get it? And Great Dell there inside. Goes. That ends a... Hard hit one-on-one. That's a sign of disrespect. You know, 20 or 10 guy, uh, one of the few in all of across the, the land, and he, he he took that uh, he took that extremely personal as he should have. He has all five for the Gales, while Matt McCarthy, who's on the bench right now, is all four for the Dons. Here is Landale. They're playing him straight up again. Jimbo Lowell, the seven footer off the bench for USF. Jock Landale and one. I think it's where they got stuck two possessions ago. They kept the ball primarily on one side of the floor. Wharton loosen up the defense enough. Loosen up that defense. You get two, three ball reversals. High, high percentage chance you're going to score the ball. And Landale stops a three minute string with by Isaiah Pinheiro to find his teammate in the corner. Olin Carter, by the way, against Gonzaga two nights ago, had 21 up at the McCarthy Center on 5 of 11 three point shooting. Landale working against the six foot eight. Floresca spin move. Nice move. You hear the student section, they're back in session, trying to drill their team in in the second half. St. Mary's undefeated in conference play. They've won 17 straight games. Working down the Landale. Up against Neubauer. Spin move. Glass. 20 points. Pinheiro has 18. And Isaiah Pinheiro's having a nice offensive game, but he's the only Torero that's scoring. He's Nobody going. else is remotely close scoring in this game. Landale on green. Keeps the game at 10 points. Landale. The size advantage is Alam Aussie. Spin move, right-handed hook. Ball. The job of just going straight up, you know, not reaching, putting his hands. Laterally straight up and just going straight up and down and not making no contact on Lando. Tanner Krebs with the steal. He leads all scorers in the game with 12, 4 of 5 on his threes tonight. Landale from the baseline. And that's what you're looking for. Extended his elbow just a little bit. Renfro didn't argue it, so it was the right call. Here is Landale. Spinning middle, draws the foul. And His shots, it has a clever, clever, crafty way of getting you to commit to him. Chase Foster for San Francisco. Drop step by Landale and won the foul.